As is traditional, the police had agreed their story in advance. The Scottish Police Federation, Scottish Police Authority, Association of Scottish Police Superintendents and Police Scotland itself had all written to MSPs to complain about their capital funding for 2020-21. Not enough for repairing cop shop roofs, or defibrillating clapped-out cars, or the latest dystopian surveillance kit and other ace toys. Jackson Carlaw, the newly elected full-time Scottish Tory leader, no longer acting, but just as hammy, wanted to know what Nicola Sturgeon was going to do about it. Well, these boys in blue stick together, don't they? Miss Sturgeon had a sheaf of quotes to prove the budget had actually made the fuzz feel all fuzzy. They were more selective than Eaton. They all stopped before the butt. The Deputy Chief Officer of Police Scotland had said its extra revenue funding was something that we welcome, she said, leaving out the bit where he went on to say the force was disappointed at being structurally underfunded. And the president of the Superintendents Association had said another £37 million was certainly welcome, Miss Sturgeon added. He'd also called police buildings shabby and poorly maintained and the state of the Scottish Police College frankly embarrassing. However that page seemed to have fallen from her notebook. Mr. Carlaw tisked extravagantly. The First Minister can dissemble all she likes, he said. Miss Sturgeon smiled. She'd take him at his word. There was now a £49 million black hole in Police Scotland's finances, Mr. Carlow continued, and he didn't mean their donut budget. Why was Miss Sturgeon shortchanging Scotland's polis? Not all, said the FM calmly. Four years ago the capital budget was £20 million, now it's £40 million. In other words, it has doubled. Just like these two fingers I'm holding up. Oh! exclaimed Nat Neanderthal Richard Lyle whose brain copes best with single vowels. Not exactly wit, but it still breached Mr. Carlaw's thin skin. Hollow cries of oh. From Richard Lyle don't pay for more police officers and don't pay to fix a broken police estate, he humphed. The FM said he had an absolute cheek to talk cash after Tory cuts. Having regained her poise, she then lost it when Labour's Richard Leonard asked about GP shortages. Richard Leonard wants to make it all about the SNP, she said. Yes, he nodded, you're in charge. Scrambling, Miss Sturgeon said A and E waits, while lousy, were still better than in Tory England, prompting ironic Tory jeers, or in Labour run Wales, prompting general cross-party pandemonium. Useless. Useless. Screamed John Swinney at the Labour seats. Presiding officer Ken McIntosh asked the Education Secretary to set a ministerial example. He had. It was quite criminal. For more on this story, visit the news article link.